This is your boy Fnatic Man, and we back with another one. We got the 11U Rare Breed versus the 11U ATL, ATL Elite at YNC. Hey, this film is brought to you by my boy National Sports Chat. I'm definitely going to put the link uh, in the description for y'all to go to his page. Uh, run them numbers up for my guy, man. Good guy. Out the gate, though. How do we allow Rare Breed to get an onside kick? Come on, man. We already know what type of team Rare Breed is. You cannot allow them no type of advantages in this type of game, man. But one good thing about it is, though, one thing about uh, ATL Elite that I like, though, man, their defense always comes out with high energy. Like, they, their, their defense is, is one of them teams, man. I feel like – I really feel like they have one of the best defenses – in the 11U division, like even from that tackle right now, they just have good, good energy, man. I love it. One thing I do want to know is why both of y'all wearing black? Why is both of y'all at YNC in black? Come on, man. Somebody got to wear white, gray. Who the who the away team, man? Who the home team? Like, this is super confusing. Once again, man, that energy from ATL Elite, like, that energy from ATL Elite is amazing. Like, I I, I, I can't lie. Good pass. Boom. Interception. Interception. That's what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. I've been watching ATL Elite all year. Man, they defensive coordinator, they defense is unmatched, man. They, they The level of energy that they come out with on defense is amazing. I love that play call out the gate. I love that play call, man. Now... You got the defense. Now you got Red Breed on their heels. Like, I love, that's one thing I do love about ACL Elite is that they, that the, the way they mix and match them plays, man, they don't have a super predictable offense. You really never know what they're going to do. And, and you know one thing about it? They offense takes a lot of criticism, and I don't like it. Like, they offensive coordinator takes a lot of criticism online for how he utilizes the kids and the plays. But, but what they don't understand is, man, this has been one of the top offenses all year, I think, uh, ATL Elite maybe got three losses. Two of them, uh, I want to say, are to Red Breed. And I think the other one is to maybe SED. Y'all can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. But one thing about it, man, that, that offense definitely, he puts it together where you, it's, it's not super predictable. It's a lot of it's a lot of pass. It's a lot of run, mix and match. Uh, I didn't like that call right there in particular, though. And the reason is because it wasn't as open before we, we don't want to just run flies and go routes on red breed that's 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 too that's too pre that's too predictable right you want to do what you was doing you want to get back into your slants your phase your post you want to always throw something in this right here i love to play call on this right here the execution wasn't there but i love to play call you always want to do things quick passes slants uh, uh post phase wheels i love to roll out it's really just the man didn't pick up the block. You got to block. You know what I'm saying? This right here is a perfect example, man. When you're playing Red Breed, you cannot have no mistakes. You have to block. You got to have great punts. You got to play great defense. You got to, you got to, you got this right here. Come on, man. You got to let the ball roll. You need every inch when you're playing a team like Red Breed. So that right there, it's too many mental mistakes out the gate. First mental mistake, one side kick. Second mental mistake, you didn't pick up that block when the quarterback was rolling out. Third, you got to let the ball roll. But, you know, they're coming right back on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This kid run track. That kid runs track. Who do you run track for? So I can make sure that I put some kids in that. That kid run track. I mean, that was amazing. Once again, I've been praising ACL Elite. Let me go to the other side and praise Red Breed. Sometimes in videos like this, man, you can you can overlook greatness. You can overlook greatness, man. And one thing about it is Rare Breed has shown nothing but greatness from the beginning of this year. You know, once again, they, they have a passing game, too. They have a dynamic quarterback, man. I mean, he's dynamic. One of the best quarterbacks at that age group. You know what I'm saying? And they have some of the best wide receiving core at that age group. So it's already 8-0 in the first quarter. The game's not out of reach yet, but once again, we got to stop with the mental mistakes. Already good job. Get on the ball. That's the first step. Let's get on the ball. Let's see how Red Breed comes out uh, in this defensive front, and let's see how ATL Elite plays it. Good run. The attack, though, man. That attack by Red Breed, I, I, I just 
Those kids are relentless, man. Those kids are really go get us on that defense, man. That it is. Oh, good run. But then, uh, oh, he fighting for them yards. It's like one thing about Red Breed, man. They're going to make you fight for them two yards, man. It's going to feel like you done ran for 10, but you really only got two. Again, quarterback drops back. Oh, I ain't like that. Oh, oh, he still caught it anyway. Hey, good. Hey, that's good handout coordination, man. Good job. Nah, kid, you was down, man. You was down. You you better want to be down when you playing a team like Red Breed. Because if, if, the, if the ref don't blow the whistle, they're going to strip the ball, man. So, so take that forward progress and keep it moving. Because you ain't finna outrun them and run them over and get out of that. Good roll. Good pass. Go. Go. See, things like that, man. You got to catch and turn. You got to get your body around. Everything has to be quick. Everything has to be perfect. It can't be any sloppiness. Shout out to Red Breed Defense, man, for locking that down. Even that, we got to get the... Ooh! I seen that one coming. I seen that one coming. I seen no one coming. Kid came in the air, bro. Oh, my God. That was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. Like, I'm still stuck on it. That was a beautiful play, man. How he read that once again. Shout out to Rare Breed Defense, man. Somebody is really coaching them kids. Good move. Bop. But what's a great defense without even better offense? That's what makes this it. Once again, you don't see bad low snaps from Rare Breed. It's the little things. These things that aren't controllable by the coach, though. I see. I seen the coaches getting a lot of slack. These things are not controllable by the coach, right? The center has to make sure that we're getting good snaps. The quarterback has to make sure that, yeah, this play was called, but it's that pass there. Drop back. Bop. You want to know what makes that was that, that throw was, was overthrown. But I'm going to tell y'all something. What makes that throw still amazing. Y'all didn't notice how he bow, looked off the safety. Turn back around. That's great coaching. Fighting down the field and all that. That's good blocking down the field, man. He fought him all the way down the field. The run was amazing, but the block was spectacular. The run was amazing, but the block was spectacular. Then we go again. On the edge. Too small. Oh, my God. My bad, y'all. I, I just seen him running. I, I felt like he was running towards me. Man, Jit got me jumping in this thing, man. I felt like he was running towards me. This ain't no joke. Oh, my God. How tall is he? Is he six foot already? Bow. Sidearm Patrick Mahomes type throw. That was a sidearm Patrick Mahomes type throw. The rain's coming down. The rain's coming down. And they still in this game. We got to get on the ball. We got to get on the ball. We got to get on. That's what I'm saying. Small mistakes. Now y'all done lost another five to ten yards every yard. Too slow. That was too slow. That was way too slow. You got to move, man. You got to move. You got to get that ball and be gone. Bow. Go. 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 God, where did that kid come from? Can y'all stop, Red Breed? I'm trying, I'm trying to talk here. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk, man. Give me something to talk about. Good. Boom. Good pass. Good. Oh, good run. Go. Go. That's what I'm saying. The play calling is there. The execution is there. It's just got to be more consistent. It's just got to be boom. Go. Oh. Risky. Risky. Screens are always super risky at, at the youth level. That was a good play call. Screens are always risky, though, at the youth level. Because if, if not executed correctly, that's a, that's, a, that's a six. That's a pick six. I'm happy to see some more running. Um, one thing about it is I understand why the coach threw the ball a lot, why he tried to move it around. It's very hard to run on that red breed defensive front. Very, very hard, man. Especially when you're not getting a push up front. Especially also, though, when you one – one of the weaknesses, not saying that they can't play, but one of the weaknesses of red breed is their outside, is their, is their DBs, you know, is their secondary. That's one of the weaknesses. And it's not because they're not good. It's because those are some of the hardest positions to play in football, period. So it takes a lot of time to really develop someone to be able to play in the secondary. Number 98 or number 99, I can't tell. But number 99, he has been doing damage for years, bro. It's going to be another pick six. Just when I said it's one, I said it's one of their weaknesses. Once again, I did say y'all could play. I said it was one of the weaknesses of the team, man. But again, bow. Oh, my 
God, that should have been six. It's two people that could have had that. That should have been six, Red Breed. And you know what's crazy, bro? One thing about Red Breed, they leave points on the table. Red Breed will beat you by 20 plus, 30 plus, and they still would have left 14, 20 points on the table. So that shh, that's a scary team, man. Bow. Bow. Go. 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 It, it's the blocking. Y'all don't see, man. Y'all don't see these kids pick up, pick up this blocking. That right there. Okay, good defense. But I want to go back, man. I, I don't know if it was the DN or the outside linebacker. But the DN outside linebacker was so wide. And that's only because of the ex immaculate blocking. Did they get on it? Who got it? Who got it? You got to give it to ATL Lee. You got to give it to... Uh, who we give it to? He gave it to ATL Lee. All right. He pointed the other way at first. I was confused, too. Boom. Go. See, that's what I mean. Good job. It's hard. I mean, man probably only got like two, three yards, but it felt like he was running for 10. You feel what I'm saying? But you just got to keep going at him. Keep going at him. Good play call. Good play call. The problem is they're getting no push up front, and I don't know if that's great rare breed or if it's lack of pushing <laughs> by ATL Another pick six. Another pick six. So this is after halftime. So what this means to me is, once again, Red Bree, a.k.a. Death Row, went in at halftime and said, hey, man, they want to move the ball around. They want to move the ball around. So what we got to do is we got we to be on high alert. One thing about Red Bree coaches, man, they are top tier when it comes to adjustments at halftime. Like, they're some of the best coaches. This Red Breed 11 U team in particular. they some of the best coaches at making sure that at halftime, we make some adjustments. So, I got to give a, a big shout out, big credit to them on making sure that they make those adjustments, man. Let's see what we got here. Boom. And also, man, I, I gave a lot of credit. God, that, see, that's the, another difference. Another difference between Red Breed and ATL Elite. The difference is, man, Red Breed, they going to they, – they grinding out, look, they grinding out 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 yards of carry. And it feels like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 yards of carry. See, they weighing down your defensive front. That's the difference, man. You feel what I'm saying? ACL Elite, they're not weighing down Red Breeze defensive front. But on the flip side, look at that pass. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, the ball was overthrown, but. Do y'all see that kid arm at 11 years old, man? Boom, go. Go. Flip it. Good defense. That's what I mean, bro. Red Breed, ATL Elite. ATL Elite's defense, man, it is amazing. But it can't hold up. You got to have a great offensive uh, uh, game to also complement your great defense. Look at that arm. Look at that arm. Boom. He caught that? How do you, who is that? Who are y'all, man? That man, somebody drop that kid name in the comments, man. He a baller. That kid is a freaking. At bro, do y'all play seven on seven or something? Cause I don't remember y'all playing seven on seven. Y'all was you know what? They do play seven on seven. Hey man, it shows, bro. It shows for all you coaches and parents and kids and players and all these people that think seven on seven don't matter and it don't. It's showing, bro. It's showing. It's showing that. Oh, my God. Good move. It's showing. Though, I got to go back to this. It's showing that that Red Bull 11 U team, they got to play 7 on 7 because they look dang good. Drop back. Boom. And I'm going to give it to ATL Elite, though. Their passing game is, is really good. The problem is they can't get a run game going. Look at that. Look at that. If you just look at that, for example, like great run by this kid. But if you look at their old line right there, their old line was so slow coming off of the ball. And it's and it's it's not me downing y'all boys, cause y'all are a, a great O line. Y'all y'all boys is is really really good. But when you're playing the best of the best, when you playing the the teams like uh, SEDs, and when you playing the Red Breeze, cause y'all y'all are the best of the best. But when you playing that that next level, that God tier level, you gotta make sure that you're doing your job. You gotta be firing off. So right there, for example, y'all gotta be coming behind him, pushing your man. You can't be just letting your man drag out them yards and you ain't coming behind trying to hit something. You got to come behind trying to hit something, man. That's the difference 
between the two teams. The difference between the two teams is, is that one team got a few more dogs on it. Just a few more dogs. And the other team just need a few more dogs on it. I think they both are great teams. But you got to come and you got to be a dog. When you meet a dog, you got to be a bigger dog. You got to be a bigger dog when you meet these dogs, man. I love what y'all doing over there at ATL Elite, man. But that's the only thing y'all boys got to work on is when y'all meet these dogs, make sure that you a dog too. Don't let them just do this. Y'all too good. Look at this. I, look, come on, man. Get in there and push that thing, man. Push it. You see how Red Breed in there? Push that thing, man. Go. Go. Go, man. Sorry, y'all boys got me turned up, man. I, I apologize, man. Y'all boys got me turned up, man. Y'all got me, y'all got me lit right now. But y'all don't understand this because I really believe in ATL Elite. And this is this is no slight to rare breed. Y'all the truth. Y'all the truth. But but I believe that if ATL Elite show a little bit more dog, a little bit more fight, a little bit more fire. You feel what I'm saying? In that front core, I believe that that they can take it to the next level, man. So this got to be an onside kick. I don't like the kick. It's, it's, it should have been onside. Oh, good hit. Good hit, good hit. Number two. Ooh, that's what I mean. Be like that all game, man. Be like that all game. Now he got jets too. <laughs> the quarterback got jets too. You, you can run too. You, you can't just throw. Boom. Why is he passing a ball all over the field? Like, who calls the plays for Red Bream, man? Whoever called a plays for Red Breed, that he a great play, play caller, man. They like he's a play great play caller. Around the edge, good tackle. You gotta bring him. You gotta wrap up. I know y'all taught how to wrap up. That that is a block in the back. That is a block in the back. It it it, it but 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 coach but it also looked like the side. So it just honestly depends. But for all them people who don't know what I'm about to say. I'm an official for basketball. As an official, we do advantage disadvantage, man. So in a game like this, you call that only because uh, as if ATL Elite already down, you might as well. You feel what I'm saying? You anything 50-50, you are gonna automatically give it to ATL Elite if it's 50-50. Good ball, foul. Oh, that was catchable, wide receiver. That was catchable, but you gotta want to catch it. Boom. Things like that, man. It's the small things, bro. You got to be able to find your balance. And you got to get up out of there. Once again, that's what makes the difference. Blocking right here. I, I, don't, I don't know if, if Red Breed got sacked or not. They have definitely had some tackles for loss. But that was too e it was too easy to just get to him, man. Also, quarterback got to move just a little bit. Oh, not waving him off. Not waving him off. Three times, man. Three times. Three times. Jordan style. Three P. Tap them babies out, man. Hey, but before we end this, man, I want to give a big shout out to ATL Elite Braves. Y'all had a, a crazy season. Y'all were a great team. Definitely top five team in the nation. Don't ever let nobody take that from y'all. No matter what nobody say, it ain't it ain't four, five, six teams better than y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are a great team. I want y'all to come back for 12 you next year and, and, and be great again. You know what you got to work on in the offseason. Always remember, man, everybody can't do what y'all doing. Everybody can't do what y'all doing. Trust me. But on the other side, shout out to Rare Breed, man, for continuing to be dominant and showing us that it's levels to this meat meal voice. It's levels to this. And shout out to that Rare Breed team, man. Um, we're going to do some more Rare Breed 11 you videos because... I mean, they the definition of greatness. So, like I told y'all, man, link in the description for this video for my boy National Sports Chat. Also, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure that y'all drop the name of the quarterback. No wide receivers from Red Breed in the comment section. I think I want to say number five from ATL Elite. Y'all drop his name. I think I want to do some highlight tapes of these kids, man. And y'all already know what's next, man. Fanatic out.